Welcome, everyone, to the communion of reparation of the five first Saturdays of the month. We continue today on our fifth first Saturday. We will keep convening online on the first Saturday of each month for the entire year. On this day of reparation, we will be praying together the Holy Rosary, spending 15 minutes with our Blessed Mother in meditation. Today, we are gathering from different parts of the world, China, Africa, Europe, North, Central, and South America. We all gather under one voice, one spirit, in honor of the Holy Trinity, through the intercession and presence of our Heavenly Mother under her sacred mantle. United with the militant, penitent, and triumphant Church, we offer this Holy Rosary of Reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in the divine will of God the Father in his divine love. We will be praying for the intentions of the com communities of Father Corey in Gaydian, Louisiana, Father Tunda in Burkina Faso, Africa, Father Daniel in Mexico City, Mexico, and Father Stevan in Shanghai, China. At this moment, we invite everyone to prepare for this Holy Rosary in a spirit of contemplation and reverence. In silence, let us present our petitions to our Lord. The origin on December the 10th, 1925, the most holy virgin appeared to Sister Lucia of Fatima and by her side on a luminous cloud was the child Jesus. As the most holy virgin rested her hand on Sister Lucia's shoulder, she outstretched her other hand, presenting to Lucia her immaculate heart encircled by thorns. At the same time, the child Jesus said, Have compassion on the heart of your most holy mother, constantly pierced by thorns by ungrateful men, with no one to make an act of reparation to remove them. Then the most holy virgin said, Look, my daughter, at my heart, constantly pierced with thorns by ungrateful men through their blasphemies and ingratitude. At the very least, try to console me by telling others that I promise to assist at their hour of death. They will receive all the graces necessary for salvation if on the first Saturday of five consecutive months, they go to confession, receive Holy Communion, and keep me company for 15 minutes while reciting five decades of the rosary and meditating on the rosary mysteries with the intention of making reparation to me. 
On February 15, 1926, the infant Jesus said to Sister Lucia, My daughter, many souls begin first Saturday devotions, but few finish them. And those who do complete them only do so to receive the graces that are promised. It would please me more if they did five consecutive Saturdays with fervor and the intention of making reparation to the heart of your heavenly mother than if they did 15 in a tepid and indifferent manner. Conditions for making the five first Saturdays. At the request of Our Lady, her faithful devotees can console her by meeting the following requirements for the five first Saturdays of the month, specifically directed to make reparation for the blasphemies in her immaculate heart. Pray five decades of the Holy Rosary. Attend Mass, receiving our Divine Lord worthily in Holy Communion, with the intention of making reparation for the offenses against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Meditate on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary for at least 15 minutes. Make a good confession and receive sacramental absolution. During this pandemic, check with your parish the confession schedule and do not forget to go at your first opportunity and fulfill penance. Make sure to tell the priest you will be doing confession specifically in reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Consecrate ourselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Intentions. Mata Fatima's intentions for this rosary are to make reparation for the five types of blasphemies with which Our Lady is offended and which she herself revealed to Sister Lucia. Offenses or blasphemies against her immaculate conception, its denial and or ridicule. Blasphemies against her perpetual virginity, that she had relations with Joseph and had other children. Blasphemies against her divine maternity, refusing to accept her as mother of God and mother of all humankind denying that she is the mother of God and our mother, instilling indifference, contempt, and hatred in children's hearts against our Immaculate Mother, insults directed against her sacred images, displays of indifference or ridicule, and the infliction of damage to them. Keeping Our Lady Company, first part. We now begin part one of the 15 minutes requested by Our Lady to accompany her while meditating on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary. We must remember her calls to pray the Rosary daily as a path to salvation and reparation for the offenses against God and her Immaculate Heart. Our meditation before the Rosary today will be on Our Lady's intercession on the Holy Souls of Purgatory. We have just celebrated their feast day this past November the 2nd, and the church will continue praying for them throughout the remainder of this month. This meditation is taken from two articles, Mary Assists Her Servants in Purgatory from the American Needs Fatima website, and How Can She Assist the Souls in Purgatory from the Marians of the Immaculate Conception website. From the standpoint of official church teachings, there is at least one thing that points to Mary helping the souls in purgatory, an ancient prayer of the mass. It is a collect or opening prayer for a mass celebrated for deceased relatives, friends, and benefactors. And it is the same 
in both the extraordinary and ordinary forms of the Latin rite. The New English translation of this prayer is, O oh God, giver of pardon and loving author of our salvation, grant, we pray you, in your mercy, that through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, and all your saints, the members, friends, and benefactors of our community who have passed from this world may attain a share in eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ. From the Roman Missal, third edition, page 1413. Clearly, the church believes that the prayers of Our Lady and the saints can be helpful to the souls in purgatory. If the Blessed Virgin Mary is not only mother of the physical Christ, but also the mother of the mystical body of Christ, then it follows she is mother of Christians on earth, in heaven and in purgatory. The first two are sometimes referred to as the church militant and church triumphant. The souls in purgatory are referred to as the church suffering. Therefore, we can say that Mary is the mother of the church suffering. We have the marvelous certainty that Mary is ever pleading for the holy souls in purgatory and that her intercession merits more than at the den of all the saints and angels taken together. In the Racolta, a manual of indulgences, a prayer asks the sorrowful Virgin Mary to present unto him the Eternal Father, together with the dolorous passions of thy dear Son, thine all sides and tears, and all the sorrows thou didst suffer in his suffering, in order that, through the merits of the same Refreshment may be granted to the souls now suffering in the fiery torments of purgatory. Prayer number 595 in the 1952 edition. Her participation at the foot of the cross in the work of re redemption gives her the ability to intercede for the souls in a special way. Many saints were confident of Our Lady's intercession for the souls in purgatory. St. Thomas Aquinas explains that the saints in heaven cannot merit, and thus their prayers for the souls in purgatory do not bring the relief that our prayers and sacrifices for the souls do. Our Lady has a special situation, though, because she was involved in the meriting of all graces as they associate with the Redeemer in the work of redemption. Her mediation is universal and thus she has a special ability to help the souls in purgatory. Saint Faustina had a vision during her postulancy with the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy in which her guardian angel took her to purgatory. She says, I saw Our Lady visiting the souls in purgatory. The souls call her the start of the sea. She brings them refreshment. She also heard an interior voice say to her, my mercy does not want this, but justice demands it. Diary of Saint Maria Faustina Kowalska, 20. Purgatory is a result of the justice of God, but Mary is there providing the souls with refreshment. Saint Bernardine of Siena says that in the prison of souls who are spouses of Jesus Christ, Mary has a certain dominion and plenitude of power to relieve them as well as deliver them from their pains. And in the first place, as to relieving them, the same saint, applying the words of Ecclesiasticus, I have walked in the waves of the sea, at visiting and relieving the necessities and sufferings of my servants or my children. St. Bernardine says that the pains of purgatory are called waves, 
because they are transitory, unlike the pains of hell, which never end, and they are called waves of the sea, because they are very bitter pains. The servants of Mary, tormented by those pains, are often visited and succored by her. See then how important it is to be a servant of this good lady, for she never forgets such when they are suffering in those flames. And although Mary suckers all the souls in purgatory, yet she always obtains more indulgences and alleviations for those who have been especially devoted to her. This Divine Mother, in her revelations to St. Bridget, said, I am the mother of all the souls in purgatory. All the sufferings which they merit for the sins committed in life are continuous while they remain there, elevated in some measure by my prayers. This kind mother sometimes condescends even to enter into that holy prison to visit and console these her afflicted children. I have penetrated into the bottom of the deep, as we read in Ecclesiastica and St. Bonaventure. Applying these words speaks about Mary adding, I have penetrated the depth of this abyss, that is, of purgatory, to relieve by my presence those holy souls. Oh, how kind and beneficent is the Holy Virgin to those who are suffering in purgatory, says St. Vincent Ferrer. Through her, they receive continual consolations and refreshment. And what other consolations have they in their sufferings than Mary and the help of this Mother of Mercy? St. Bridget one day heard Jesus saying to his mother, Thou art my mother, thou art the mother of mercy, thou art the consoler of those who are in purgatory. And the Blessed Virgin herself said to St. Bridget that as a poor sick person, suffering and thus deserted on his bed, feels himself refreshed by some word of consolation. So those souls feel themselves consoled in hearing only her name. The name alone of Mary, a name of hope and salvation, which these beloved children often invoke in that prison, is for them a great comfort. But then the loving mother, on hearing herself invoke by them, adds her prayers to God, by which these souls receive comfort, and finding their burning pains cooled, as if by dew from heaven. But not only does Mary console and succor her servants in purgatory, she also releases them from this prison and delivers them by her intercession. From the day of her glorious assumption, in which that prison is said to have been emptied, Mary, when about to be assumed to paradise, asked this favor of her son, that she might take with her all the souls that were then in purgatory. From that time, the Blessed Virgin has possessed the privilege of freeing her servants from those pains. And this also is positively asserted by Saint Bernardine, who says that the Blessed Virgin has the power to, of delivering souls from purgatory by her prayers and the applications of her merits, especially if they have been devoted to her. By the merits of Mary, not only the torments of these souls are assuaged, but also abridged, the time of their purgation being shortened by her intercession. And for this, it is enough that she presents herself to pray for them. St. Peter Damian relates that a certain lady named Marosia, after death, appeared to her godmother and told her that on the feast day of the Assumption of Mary, 
she had been released by her from purgatory with a multitude of souls, exceeding in number the whole population of Rome. Saint Denis the Cartesian relates that on the festivals of the birth and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Mary descends into purgatory, accompanied by troops of angels and releases many souls from their torments. Many believe that the same thing happens on every solemnity of the Holy Virgin. Everyone has heard of the promise made by Our Lady. All those who should wear the sacred scapular of Carmel on the Saturday after their death, they should be released from purgatory. This promise is found in a bull of Pope John XXII, which he proclaimed and published. The Blessed Virgin appeared to him and speaking of those who were the brown scapular said, I, the mother of grace, shall descend on the Saturday after their death and whomsoever I shall find in purgatory, I shall free so that I may lead them to the holy mountain of life everlasting. This was also confirmed by other pontiffs, Alexander V, Clement VI, Pius V, Gregory XIII and Paul V, who in 1612 said in a bowl, the Christians may piously believe that the Blessed Virgin will aid by her continual intercession, by her merits and special protection after death and principally on Saturday. This a day consecrated by the church to the Blessed Virgin who takes to heaven the souls of the members of the confraternity of Holy Mary of Mount Carmel. Those who shall have departed this life in a state of grace, worn the scapular, observing chastity according to their state of life, recited the office of the Virgin, and if they have not been able to recite it, shall have observed the fasts of the church, abstaining from flesh meat on Wednesdays, except on Christmas Day. And in the solemn office of the Feast of Holy Mary of Mount Carmel, we, re we read that it is piously believed that the Holy Virgin, with a mother's love, consoles the members of the confraternity of Mount Carmel in purgatory, and by her intercession, conducts them to their heavenly country. Why should we not also hope for the same graces and favors if we are devoted to this good mother? And if with more special love we serve her, why cannot we hope to obtain the grace of going immediately after death to paradise without entering into purgatory? The Holy Virgin said to the Blessed Godfrey through Brother Abondo in these words, go and tell Brother Godfrey to advance in virtue for thus he will be a child of my son and mine also. And when his soul quits the body, I will not permit it to go to purgatory, but I will take it and present it to my son. And if we would assist the holy souls in purgatory, let us endeavor to remember them in all our prayers to the Blessed Virgin, applying to them especially the Holy Rosary, which procures for them great relief. Preparation Rosary. 
For those who wish to make reparations to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and thus give consolation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we begin our reparation rosary now. We will pray the sorrowful mysteries. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray for protection from all evil, harm, or sickness through the precious blood of Jesus. Precious blood, ocean of divine mercy, flow upon us. Precious blood, most pure offering, procure us every grace. Precious blood, hope and refuge of sinners, atone for us. Precious blood, delight of holy souls, draw us. Amen. Let us pray to the Holy Spirit for guidance. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Send for thy spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his Holy Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We now pray the pardon prayer, the angel's prayer, and the sacrifice prayer three prayers taught by the angel of peace who appeared to the three leader shepherds in Fatima during his visits before Our Lady's first apparition. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope and I love you. I ask a pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. My God, my God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask a pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask a pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. O most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly. I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference by which he's offended, by the infinite merits of the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of you the conversion of poor sinners. Oh, my Jesus, it is for love of you and in reparation for the offenses committed against the immaculate heart of Mary, and for the conversion of poor sinners. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. 
Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I go yonder and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Matthew chapter 26, verses 36 and 39. Prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, through your bloody sweat of fear that you shed on the Mount of Olives, we ask you to have mercy on the holy souls in purgatory. Bring to completion their purification and console them with a cup of heavenly comfort. Through the intercession of your heavenly mother, grant them eternal rest, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May, the re may they rest in peace. Amen. In this decade, we will pray the responses to the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Marys in Spanish and Mandarin. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en tentación y líbranos del mal. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. María. 你充满上宠你的亲子耶稣同受赞颂
求你现在和我们临终时，为我们罪人祈求天主。阿门。万福玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在。你在妇女中受赞颂，你的亲子耶稣同受赞颂。天主圣母玛利亚，求你现在和我们临终时，为我们罪人祈求天主。阿门。Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. 起初如何，今日亦然，直到永远。阿门。O Mary, conceived without sin. 我们奔赴您台前，切望您为我们转求。O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. 求你把众人的灵魂，特别是那些需要你怜悯的灵魂，领到天国里去。阿门。But after he had Jesus scourged, he handed him over to be crucified. Matthew chapter twenty-seven, verse twenty-six. Prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, through your painful scourging, which you tolerated so patiently for us sinners, we ask you to have mercy on the holy souls in purgatory. Bring them to life everlasting with you, and through the intercession of your heavenly Mother, give them eternal relief. May the rest in peace. Amen. In this decade, we will pray the responses to the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Marys in French, Creole, and Italian. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Et nous besoin chaque jour, ben nous lis jodia. Pardonnez ça nous fait où t'as que nous pardonnez mon qui fait nous qui choy. Pas quitter nous pour un piège, mais délivrer nous à ça qui mal. Amen. Marie c'est pour content. Ou même qui plein faveur. Remettez la avec vous. Lui bénir au passé toute fille. Et lui bénit Jésus petit ou fait. Marie ou saint, ou c'est maman bon Dieu, nous c'est pécheur. La prière pour nous aujourd'hui a à que nous prête pour nous mourir. Amen. Marie c'est pour content, ou même qui plein faveur. Grand mettre là avec vous. Lui bénit au passé toute fille. Et lui bénit Jésus petit ou fait. Marie ou saint, ou c'est maman bon Dieu. Nous ces pécheurs, la prière pour nous aujourd'hui a à que nous prête pour nous mourir. Amen. Marie c'est pour content, vous même qui plein faveur, grand mettre là avec vous. Lui bénir au passé toute fille, et lui bénir Jésus petit ou fait. Marie ou saint, ou c'est maman bon Dieu. Nous ces pécheurs, la prière pour nous aujourd'hui a à que nous prête pour nous mourir. Amen. Marie, c'est pour content. Ou même qui plein faveur, grand mettre là avec vous. Lui bénir au passé toute fille. Et lui bénir Jésus petit ou fait. Marie ou saint, ou c'est maman bon Dieu. Nous ces pécheurs. La prière pour nous aujourd'hui a à que nous prête pour nous mourir. Amen. Marie, c'est pour content. Ou même qui plein faveur. Grand mettre là avec vous. Lui bénir au passé toute fille. Et lui bénir Jésus petit ou fait. Marie ou saint. Ou c'est maman bon Dieu. Nous ces pécheurs. La prière pour nous aujourd'hui a à que nous prête pour nous mourir. Amen. Ave Maria, piena di grazia. Le Seigneur est con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne e benedetto il frutto del seno tuo Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, 
adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Ave Maria, piena di grazia, il Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, benedetto il frutto del seno tuo Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Ave Maria, piena di grazia, il Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne e benedetto il frutto del seno tuo Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Ave Maria, piena di grazia, il Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne e benedetto il frutto del seno tuo Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Ave Maria, piena di grazia, il Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne e benedetto il frutto del seno tuo Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come era nel principio, e ora e sempre, nei secoli dei secoli. Amen. O oh Mary, conceive without sin. Pregate per noi che ricorriamo a voi. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Porta in cielo tutte le anime, specialmente le più bisognose, della tua misericordia. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. And the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium, and they gathered the whole battalion before him. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe upon him. And plating a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Matthew, chapter 27, verses 27 to 29. Prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, through your painful crowning, we should suffer so patiently for us sinners, for us sinners. We ask you to have mercy on the holy souls in purgatory and through the intercession of your heavenly mother, give them the crown of eternal delight. May they rest in peace. Amen. In this decade, we will pray the responses to the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Marys in Polish and Greek. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Chleba naszego powszedniego daj nam dzisiaj i odpuść nam nasze winy, jako i my odpuszczamy naszym winowajcom. I nie wóź nas na pokuszenie, ale nas zbaw od złego. Amen. Zdrowaś Maryjo, łaski pełna, Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Święta Maryjo, Matko Boża, módl się za nami grzesznymi, teraz i w godzinę śmierci naszej. Amen. Zdrowaś Maryjo, łaski pełna, Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami, i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Święta Maryjo, Matko Boża, módl się za nami grzesznymi, teraz i w godzinę śmierci naszej. Amen. Zdrowaś Maryjo, łaski pełna, Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Święta Maryjo, Matko Boża, módl się za nami grzesznymi, teraz i w godzinę śmierci naszej. Amen. Zdrowaś Maryjo, łaski pełna, Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego Jezus. Święta Maryjo, Matko Boża, 
módl się za nami grzesznymi, teraz i w godzinę śmierci naszej. Amen. Zdrowaś Maryjo, łaski pełna, Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Święta Maryjo, Matko Boża, módl się za nami grzesznymi, teraz i w godzinę śmierci naszej. Amen. Chere Maria, que haritomeni, o Kyrios ine masisu, evlogimeni si metaxi ton ginekon, que evlogimenos o carpos tis kilia su o Isus. Agia Maria Theotoke, para cali llamas tus amartolus, tora que estinora tu zanatu mas. Amen. Chere Maria, que haritomeni, o Kyrios ine masisu, evlogimeni si metaxi ton ginekon, que evlogimenos o carpos tis kilia su o Isus. Αγία Μαρία Θεοτόκε, παρακάλει για μας τους αμαρτωλούς, τώρα και στην ώρα του θανάτου μας. Αμήν. Χαίρε Μαρία και χαριτωμένη, ο Κύριος είναι μασί σου. Ευλογημένη εσύ μεταξύ των γυναικών και ευλογημένος ο καρπός της κοιλίας σου, ο Ιησούς. Αγία Μαρία Θεοτόκε, παρακάλει για μας τους αμαρτωλούς, τώρα και στην ώρα του θανάτου μας. Αμήν. Χαίρε Μαρία και χαριτωμένη, ο Κύριος είναι μασί σου. Ευλογημένη εσύ μεταξύ των γυναικών και ευλογημένο ο καρπό τη κοιλία σου, ο Ισού. Αγία Μαρία Θεοτόκη, παρακάλει για μα του αμαρτωλού, τώρα και στην ώρα του θανάτου μα. Αμήν. Χαίρε Μαρία και χαριτωμένη, ο κύριο είναι μασί σου. Ευλογημένη εσύ μεταξύ των γυναικών και ευλογημένο ο καρπό τη κοιλία σου, ο Ισού. Αγία Μαρία Θεοτόκη, παρακάλει για μα του αμαρτωλού, τώρα και στην ώρα του θανάτου μα. Αμήν. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Mary conceived without sin. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. O digese ston urano, oles tis psiches, ke propandon ekines, puechun περισσότερη ανάγκη. Αμήν. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. And they compelled the passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. And they brought him to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. Mark chapter 15, verses 21 to 22. Prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, through your painful carrying of the cross, which you suffered so patiently for us sinners, we ask you to have mercy on the holy souls in purgatory. Through the intercession of your heavenly mother, bring them to the everlasting peace of perfect life with the most holy trinity and lead them into eternal joy. May they rest in peace. Amen. In this decade, we will pray the responses to the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Marys in Indonesian and German. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Berilah kami rejeki pada hari ini, dan ampunilah kesalahan kami, seperti kami pun mengampuni yang bersalah kepada kami, dan janganlah masukkan kami ke dalam percobaan, tetapi bebaskanlah kami dari yang jahat. Amin. Salam Maria, penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita, dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu, Yesus. Santa Maria, Bunda Allah, doakanlah kami yang berdosa ini, sekarang dan waktu kami mati. Amin. Salam Maria, penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita, dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu, Yesus. Santa Maria, Bunda Allah, doakanlah kami yang berdosa ini, sekarang dan waktu kami mati. Amin. 
Salam Maria, penuh rahmat, Tuhan sertamu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita, dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu, Yesus. Santa Maria, Bunda Allah, doakanlah kami yang berdosa ini sekarang dan waktu kami mati. Amin. Salam Maria, penuh rahmat, Tuhan sertamu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita, dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu, Yesus. Santa Maria, Bunda Allah, doakanlah kami yang berdosa ini sekarang dan waktu kami mati. Amin. Salam Maria, penuh rahmat, Tuhan sertamu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita, dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu, Yesus. Santa Maria, Bunda Allah, doakanlah kami yang berdosa ini sekarang dan waktu kami mati. Amin. Gegrüße seist du Maria voller Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Gegrüße seist du Maria voller Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen. Und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Gegrüßet seist du, Maria, voller Gnade. Der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen. Und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, Jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Gegrüßet seist du, Maria, voller Gnade. Der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen. Und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder. Jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Gegrüßet seist du, Maria, voller Gnade. Der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen, und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Gegrüßet seist du, Maria, voller Gnade. Der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen, und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, Bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Wie im Anfang, so auch jetzt und alle Zeit und in Ewigkeit. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin. Bitte für uns, die wir unsere Zuflucht zu dir nehmen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Führe alle Seelen in den Himmel, besonders jene, die deine Barmherzigkeit am meisten bedürfen. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion of our Lord. And when they came to the place which is called the scar, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right and one on the left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, while the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Luke chapter 23, verses 33 to 46. Prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, through your painful crucifixion, which you suffered so patiently for us sinners, we ask you have mercy on the holy souls in purgatory. 
through the intercession of your heavenly mother, turn your holy face towards them and let them be in paradise with you today. May they rest in peace. Amen. In this decade, we will pray the responses to the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Marys in French and Latin. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain quotidien. Pardonne-nous nos offenses comme nous pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous sont offensés. Et ne nous soumets pas à la tentation, mais délivre-nous du mal. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous, pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et dans l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous, pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous, pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, Pleine de grâce, le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous, pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce, le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous, pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris, tu i Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris, tu i Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris, tu i Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, Nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris, tu i Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris, tu i Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sicut erat in principio, et non in semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O Mary conceived without sin. Ora pro nobis, quita te confugimus. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Perduc in celum omnes animas, presertin ilas, que maxime indigent. Amen. To receive the plenary indulgence attached to this holy rosary, we will pray three Hail Marys for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for the sanctification of priests, religious vocations, and for non-believers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Ave María, gracia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu y mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris, tu y Jesús. Santa María, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amén. Amén. We salute our Heavenly Mother by praying the Hail Holy Queen. Sophie, Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Duce. Espes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules, filie fe. A te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos. Ad nos converte, et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis vos hoc exilium ostende. for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. We will now pray to Saint Jacinta and Francisco Marto, the holy little shepherds of Fatima, so they will intercede for us, especially all children in the world. Good God of infinite goodness, you love the innocent and exalt the humble. Please grant through intercession of the immaculate mother of your son, that in imitation of saints, Francisco and Jacinta, we may serve you 
in simplicity of heart, and thus may enter the kingdom of heaven, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Jacinta and Saint Francisco Marto, pray for us. We continue with the second part of the 15 minutes to accompany Our Lady, praying the litany for the holy souls in purgatory and asking our Blessed Mother to intercede for them and give them relief. Make us know the shortness of our life that we may gain wisdom of heart. Psalm 90 verse 12. O Jesus, thou suffered and died that all mankind might be saved and brought to eternal happiness. Hear our pleas for further mercy on the souls of my dear parents and grandparents. My Jesus, mercy. My brothers and sisters and other near relatives. My Jesus, mercy. My godparents, and sponsors of confirmation. My Jesus, mercy. My friends and neighbors. My Jesus, mercy. All for whom love or duty bids me pray. My Jesus, mercy. Those who have offended me. My Jesus, mercy. Those who have suffered disadvantage or harm through me. My Jesus, mercy. Those who are especially beloved by thee. My Jesus, mercy. Those who release is near at hand. My Jesus, mercy. Those who desire most to, the unite, to be united to thee. My Jesus, mercy those who endure the greatest sufferings. My Jesus, mercy. Those who release is most remote. My Jesus, mercy. Those who are least remembered. My Jesus, mercy. Those who are most deserving on account of their services to the church. My Jesus, mercy the rich who now are the most destitute. My Jesus, mercy. The mighty who are now powerless. My Jesus, mercy. The ones spiritually blind now who now see their folly. My Jesus, mercy. The free los, the free follows who spend the time in idleness. My Jesus, mercy. The poor who did not seek the treasures of heaven. My Jesus, mercy. The tepid who devoted little time to prayer. My Jesus, mercy. The indolent who neglected to perform good works. My Jesus, mercy. Those of little faith who neglected the frequent reception of the sacraments. My Jesus, mercy. The habitual sinners who owe their salvation to a miracle of grace. My Jesus, mercy. Parents who failed to watch over their children. 
my Jesus mercy. Superiors who were not solicitous for the salvation of those entrusted to them. My Jesus mercy. Those who struck for worldly riches and pleasures. My Jesus mercy. Those who fail to use their wealth and talents in the service of God. My Jesus mercy. Those who witness the death of others, but would My not Jesus. think of their own. My Jesus mercy. Those who did not provide for the life hereafter. My Jesus mercy. Those whose sentence, whose sentence is severe because of the great things entrusted to them. My Jesus mercy. The popes, kings, and rulers. My Jesus, mercy. The bishops and the counselors. My Jesus, mercy. My teachers and spiritual advisors. My Jesus, mercy. The deceased priests of our diocese. My Jesus, mercy. All priests and religious of the Catholic Church. My Jesus, mercy. The defenders of the Holy Faith. My Jesus, mercy. Those who died on the battlefield. My Jesus, mercy. Those who fought for their country. My Jesus, mercy. Those who were buried in the sea. My Jesus, mercy. Those who suffered and died of illnesses. My Jesus, mercy. Those who died suddenly in accidents. My Jesus, mercy. Those who died without the last rites of the church. My Jesus, mercy. Those who shall die today. My Jesus, mercy. My own poor soul, when I shall have to appear before thy judgment seat. My Jesus, mercy. Most loving Jesus, I humbly beseech thee that thou thyself would offer to thine eternal Father on the behalf of the holy souls in purgatory the most precious blood which poured forth from the sacred wound of thine adorable body together with thine agony and death. And do thou likewise, O sorrowful Virgin Mary, present unto him together with the dolorous passion of thy dear Son, thy own sighs and tears, and all the sorrows thou didst suffer in his suffering, in order that through the merits of the same refreshment may be granted to the souls now suffering in the fiery torments of purgatory, so that being delivered from that painful prison, they may be clothed with glory in heaven, there to sing the mercies of God forever and ever. Amen. Absolve, O Lord, the souls of all the faithful departed from every bone of sin, that with thy gracious assistance they may deserve to escape the judgment of vengeance and enjoy the blessedness of everlasting light. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. From the gates of hell. Deliver their souls, O Lord. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. Let us pray. May the prayer of thy suppliant people, we beseech thee, O Lord. Benefit the souls of thy departed servants and handmaids, that thou may both deliver them from all their sins and make them to be partakers of thy redemption. Amen. May their souls and the souls of the faithfully departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. For our protection against COVID-19, let us pray to the Virgin Mary. 
We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, amen. For our defense against evil, let us pray to St. Michael. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray to St. Joseph for protection. Remember, O most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, and my loving protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to thy protection or implored thine aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in thy goodness, I come before thee and humbly implore thee, despite not my petitions, first Father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen. Let us consecrate ourselves to our Heavenly Mother. Oh, my Lady, oh, my Mother, I give myself entirely to you. And on this day, as proof of my filial love, I offer you my eyes, my ears, my tongue, and my heart. In a word, my whole being. As I am all yours, O Mother of Goodness, keep me and protect me as your child. Amen. Let us pray for the release of a thousand souls in purgatory through the intercession of Saint Gertrude the Great. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses set throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for all sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We invite you to join us again on December the 4th, when we will start a new series of the five first Saturdays. We ask you to consider fulfilling the five consecutive first Saturdays of reparation without missing any, so you can receive the graces promised by Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. This concludes the Rosary of Reparation. Thank you for sharing it with us today.